Here is a dot product application. If vector a equals to 2i plus 5j and vector b is minus i plus 2j, determine t when the angle between a and b is 45 degrees. So we know what is a dot b. a dot b is equals to magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cosine of angle between them. Right. So let's say cosine theta. That is a dot b. Now in this question we can find dot product in two different ways since we are given the angle. So one is finding with the Cartesian coordinates given to us which is 2i and 5j for a. So we have here a as 2 comma 5 dot b is minus 1 comma t for j and this is equals to magnitude of a which is square root of 2 square plus 5 square and magnitude of b is minus 1 square plus t square square root times cos of 45 degrees. Correct? So that is how we get our equation. Now this dot product will be minus 2 plus 5t, right? 5t. And that is equals to 2 square is 4, 4 plus 25. Right. So we have 4 plus 25 here. And here we have 1 plus t square and cos of 45 is 1 over square root 2. So that is the equation. So to solve this, what we can do is we can multiply by square root 2 and then square. So we have square root 2 times, let me write this as 5t minus 2, equals to square root of, this is 29 and this is 1 plus t square. Now we can square both sides and then solve for t. So we have 2 times 5t minus 2 whole square which is equals to 29 times 1 plus t square. Right? And uh, let's open this bracket. So we get 2 times 5 square is 25t square minus 2ab. So 20t plus 4 equals to 29 plus 29t square, right? Now, now this is a quadratic equation. So let's take it on, we'll, I'll do it on the right side now further. So we'll bring all the terms to one side and then solve for t. So we have 2 times 25 is 50, so we have 50t square and then we'll bring minus 29t here, 29t squared. And then we have minus 40t. And 2 times 4 is 8 plus 8 minus 29 equals to 0. So that gives us 21t squared and minus 40t. And that is minus 21 equals to 0. We need to factor this to find the solution. So we are looking for two numbers whose product is 21 times 21 and the sum is minus 40. Now to get these two numbers we can so here's a technique which we can use right so these are big numbers, 21 times 21 we want, and we want sum of 40. So factors of 21 and 21 are 7, 3, right? So if you get combinations, it could be 49 and, do you see, 49 times 9 will give you 21 times 21. So we can split minus 40 as 21t squared. So I can write this as minus 49t plus 9t. Do you see that? minus 21 equals to 0. So this is a very helpful technique to factor. Find the prime factors and then work your way upwards. Now we can take 20, so 7 is common between these two. So we get 7t 
and 7 times 3 so 3t minus 7 times 7 plus 3 is common here so we get t uh, I mean 3t minus 7 equals to 0 so now we can take 3t minus 7 common and get 7t plus 3 equals to 0 so that gives us two values of t right so the t could be equals to 7 over 3 if this is 0 or minus 3 over 7 so those are the two possible solutions for this right so that is our answer so if uh, you find it difficult to factor you can always use quadratic formula right I hope you remember the quadratic formula which is let me put it here so you could find t in this equation as minus uh, the term is minus 49 which is becomes plus 49 plus minus b square which is 49 square minus 4 times a is 21 and c is minus 21 square root divided by 2 times 21 and that will also give you the same solution so that is how you can solve this question thank you